Hello everyone and welcome back to Florence, Tuscany. I am Danilo Romolini and today we are in one of the main squares of the city. This is Piazza dell'Indipendenza. It is close to all of the main services. We are just five minutes away to the train station for access to the city and 10 to the Duomo Square. The property we are about to visit today is just a few minutes from here in a beautiful residential area. It is a lovely, fully restored apartment with three bedrooms. Are you ready to see it? Come with me. And here we are. We are on the first floor of the building. This is the entrance door. And from here we go to one bedroom on this side, that is the primary bedroom, which we will see in a moment. But first, let's have a look at the living spaces. The home is nearly 100 square meters in internal spaces with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. It has been freshly restored. The works have just been completed. As you can see, on all of the floors of the house, we find this beautiful herringbone pattern floor with tiles that resembles the look of wood. Then on the walls we find these light colors which are very elegant and give this home feeling. And as you look up, all of the original ceilings made out of wood have been maintained, embellished, and there are lights that lit them up and make them even more beautiful. In terms of layout, as we enter from the main door over there, we go to the right side and enter into the living space. We find a sitting area over here, a dining, and I will show you the kitchen next to it. Then through this window, as you can see, all of the window fixtures are brand new and made out of wood, triple glazed. Through this window, we access onto the private courtyard of the apartment. As you can see, it is spacious, also finished with the tiles, and it is nice to have a private outdoor space in a home in the city center of the city of Florence. The kitchen is right here, very well organized and brand new. There is this brass color on the cabinets and on top this marble color pattern all around. It is made out of grass, so very durable and very easy to clean. There is storage on this side. Over here, we have the dishwasher. Then there is additional storage below the sink and another storage cabinet over here for the boiler for the water heating. Then we find the oven and on top an induction stove and right next to it, the fridge and on top another storage. This kitchen has natural light from the internal courtyard and of course the lights on the ceiling. From the living space we keep going with this hallway and then we arrive to the first bathroom over here which is well organized with this very elegant wooden part on the sink. Then there is this grass with marble effect all around and the same herringbone floors all over the floor. This bathroom is very comfortable to be used by the common spaces, but as well as an ensuite bathroom for the first bedroom. Here we have the first bedroom. By the way, the home is heated through radiators and there are brand new air conditioning units on all of the spaces. The first bedroom is nice and tall with the wooden ceilings which are original, which in this case have been painted in white, giving even more light to this room. There is this paper on this end wall which makes this beautiful effect and makes this room really unique. On this side we have a large window made out of wood overlooking inside the courtyard. And then there is a wardrobe for storage over here. On one end of the apartment, at the end of the hallway, we find one of the two largest bedrooms. It is beautifully done, full of natural light through this huge window over here. You can see how spacious it is. We find the same floors, the same gorgeous heights that give these beautiful proportions. 
and on the ceilings as you lay on the bed you can admire the masterful work the artisan done with the ceiling on this wall on this side you can see there are nice details with the lights and the furnishings and also here we find this paper on the wall resembling an outdoor space which we also find through this door because in fact we have the outdoor terrace from the bedroom we have this spacious terrace it is about 10 square meters in space which is also used as a laundry area on that side while on this side we find an outdoor shower this is nice to eat outside to have a coffee in the morning you have views on the city and it's a nice and private space by the entrance where we started, so we are on the other side of the apartment, we have the primary bedroom and first it's beautiful ensuite bathroom. It is the largest bathroom by far with this beautiful marble effect on this grass all around. The sink as well is made out of wood. We have a bathtub and also a shower. Nice and tall ceilings with the beams painted in white. Right next to the bathroom, we have the bedroom. This is the primary bedroom. It is the most spacious with the most amount of lateral light. There are these two huge windows made out of wood and overlooking the Florentine street. Nice and tall ceilings with the exposed beams left in their natural wood color, which makes it nice and warm and cozy. On the floor, we find the same herringbone pattern with the tiles and on this wall another scenery with a villa and an outdoor space. On that wall over there there is a wardrobe however there is a lot more space so if one needs a much bigger wardrobe there is enough space for it. And here we are ending today's property tour. I think this apartment is very suitable for either someone that is looking for a pied -a terre in Florence and would like their own special place fully restored and turnkey. The property is also suitable for someone to live there permanently as we are on a great residential area with all of the main services and the main shops close by. This beautiful square is just a few minutes walk from here, the train station as well and the Duomo square just 12 minutes walk. Please let me know if you have any comments in the comment section below and remember to subscribe to the Romolini channel for the best homes of Italy every week. Until next time, ciao!